Okay, e-commerce sites, Google just announced a big structured data update. I think a lot of you are gonna to wanna to pay attention to it. Google just announced that now you can mark up individual variants within a product group. So let's say you sell t-shirts and you have t-shirts in green, blue, red, and also small, medium, large. You can now mark all that up within structured data, which is gonna be really powerful to do at scale. So if you go to John Mueller's announcement here, you'll be able to go to this post and it's gonna give you a little bit more high level information about what the update is. What's most interesting in terms of implementation is this documentation feature. So here I'm in the documentation and I'm gonna scroll down to the individual example that they give. So let's say you're marking up this wool winter coat. What Google's recommending here is instead of using type as product, you're actually gonna use type as product group. And then the individual parent fields are gonna be largely the same, description, URL, um, pattern, those types of things. But then you're going to actually specify this varies by schema type. And then here you're gonna give all the attributes that the product varies by. So here we're gonna specify size and then color. And then what you'll do is you'll specify this has variant element. And then you're going to give a new product structure data for every single variant within the parent group. So for this example, you can see here, we've specified SKU, the GTIN, the image, and then because we're varying by color and size here, we've specified that this is a green and small wool winter coat. And then here we go a little further down. Now we specified another product within the product group. Once again, SKU, GTIN, image, and because we're varying by color and size, color light blue, size small. Go down to the final one here. Once again, we use a product and here we specify color light blue, but now the size is large. So this is a really exciting opportunity for e-commerce sites because now with you have a lot of product variants across a lot of different attributes. You can mark that up to Google at scale. So if someone searches small wool winter coat, you know this product is gonna be more likely to be eligible for popular products and you'll be better signaling to Google that you actually have that content on your website for extremely long tail, extremely transactional keywords. So check this structured data type out. I recommend that a lot of e-commerce sites look at it and potentially start adopting it as it's going to allow you to mark up things very quickly and give Google a lot of data at scale.